So I was here today at the Leadership Forum at the Future at the ITU 2014 conference to explore how governments need to respond to this very fast pace of change in ICT over the next five to ten years. And I outlined 25 different strategies that we see governments adopting around the world to build local research capability, to encourage the creation of new startups and technology, to accelerate the research and development process in industry, and perhaps most importantly, to build the capability at the top of government to actually understand what's coming next and to be able to make decisions quicker, execute them quicker, and accelerate growth and development in their countries. And we focused in particular on how the ICT ministries can work with other ministries to drive that change agenda because nothing they do now sits in isolation, whether it's education, finance or manufacturing, it crosses many boundaries and they have to work together. This was a very important event because it brought together leaders from government, from the telcos, from their service providers to explore what's going to shape the next decade and it really provided them with an opportunity to dive deep into those forces and issues that they need to confront and to really provide a mirror against which they can test themselves to say how far down the line are we, where are the gaps in our strategy and what are the priorities we need to pay most attention to in the next five to ten years. I think three big disruptions are really going to shape the agenda over the next five to ten years. The first is the rapid rise of digital currencies where we're seeing almost entirely parallel systems being created to the existing financial and economic ones. Governments learn to need to how to governments need to learn how to adapt to that and how to take advantage of what those technologies are creating. Secondly, we see the incredible speed of, of advancement of artificial intelligence and robotics penetrating every walk of life and we need to firstly understand what this means and how it could impact everything from the way we educate our children to the way we run our organizations and finally I think there is this kind of really interesting convergence now of technology and communications into everything in our world and every business now is really becoming a technology company whether you make cars whether you do banking or whether you're a food company Essentially, you're a technology company that happens to have some sort of product at the end of it. And we all have to be world class now in terms of our abilities to manage that technology and execute it quickly before it becomes out of date.